wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how you can use Delta Math within Schoology so that your students don't have to log into Delta Math in a separate tab using a, an entirely different username and password that they had to create when they joined a class. Um, so you can see here I'm in one of my courses. The Delta Math um, has been added to everybody's courses so everybody has access to it. So once again you decide where you're going to put your Delta Math assignment. Um, and then you're going to click on your green dotted line so you can choose your materials. And you will see Delta Math here, um, but what I suggest, and this is what they told me at Delta Math, is to actually use this option. The reason is when you click here, um, you're going to be able basically to do the same thing that I'm doing here. However, you're going to be working in a much smaller window. And by doing it this way, you'll be able to see the Delta Math, the entirety of the screen a little bit better because you're going to be um, within the frame of Schoology. So you click on Add File Link External Tool, and then you're going to click on External Tool. Tool Provider in the drop down, you will see all the integrations that we have so going so far, and you're going to click on Delta Math. Don't you probably will not see it twice, you'll see it just once. I made a Google on my end, so you should just see it once. So then you call it, you know, whatever it's going to be called, is my mathematical name for it. You do have to enable grading regardless of whether um, you're going to be um, using this grade within Schoology to Power School or anything like that. Um, if you're going to be assigning a point value, you can put that in here and you're going to select your due date and your category. So now that that is all created, now we have to um, add an assignment to this that the student's going to be taking via Delta Math. So once this saves, we're actually going to go right back to that assignment title and we're going to click on it. And this is what's going to bring up the Delta Math frame within Schoology. So you can either create your new assessment or test for this particular um, topic, or if you already have an assignment created, what you can do is click a link to an existing assignment. Now keep in mind, if you have been using Delta Math outside of Schoology, um, and you created courses man, uh, classes manually in Delta Math, you're not going to be able to link to those um, assignments if they are already linked to classes you created, if you get my drift here. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say, for example, um, I had already created an assessment, uh, an assignment or a test, and I had used it with my period two math class, and I had created um, a class for them to log in separately outside of Schoology. Um, so I'm just going to go over to copy assignments. So you can see here, it's a, a little bit cut off here in the frame, but you can see here uh, all of these assignments that I've created, it's, they're associated with a particular course. Um, so my other Schoology courses, you can see here, they have different names. Um, so if it's already linked to a class, I can't link it to a new Schoology class. So what I can do is I can come over here and I can click copy. And you're going to see here, here are the, the assessments. You can adjust any of this if you want here. Overview. So because I am working inside my Schoology um, PD test course, it automatically selected that section to assign this to. Um, and you don't have to make any adjustments here unless you need to. What you do have to do is you do have to select a new due date. Even though we selected, selected one via Schoology, you have to select one within Delta Math so you can match them if you want. Um, and then you're going to click Create Assignment. And that's all you have to do. Okay, it sort of looks like you're kind of stuck on the screen and you, you should have to click, you know, something else in order to get out of here, but it actually is assigned already. Um, so if I go back over to my course, <clears throat> the, um, the assignment will, will show up. So now our students will be able to access it. And just so you can see how that works, if I come over here, this is a student in this course. I'm now looking at a student view. And I go here and I go to that test that I just created. It loads. So this is what it's going to look like from the student end. You can see they're not going to see any of their other assignments here. They don't have to log in. And as soon as they submit their answers, you will be able to see it on your end um, in Delta Math. So I hope this little tutorial helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.